she could do more because she loved more. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth on this Cassidy where the current is always flowing from the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love, here in Avigenia, in the heart of Brazil. And we've had more rain, which is fabulous because we have so much abundance, so many fruits and vegetables growing to nourish us physically. And also, everything is green, like the heart center. So we're living in this wonderful high vibration of mother nature so obvious here in Abidjania and we have so much activity everything is so alive birds singing butterflies everywhere reminding us of our transformation and that all things are impermanent and all things pass so wherever you are in the world relax if you're lying down great if you're under a crystal bed super and if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current Feet firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive. And allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from our open hearts, filling the world with this beautiful cleansing, healing energy. And as we do this divine work, staying elevated, which is so necessary now for each and every one of us to live in the heart center. Not easy. Let's be conscious of our breath. Taking long, slow, gentle, deep breaths into the heart center, the center of our being. Breathing in more and more light, multiplying it and pouring it forth especially to those who need it most. And there are many, many people suffering now on earth. And the consciousness is rising. So it's a very delicate, vulnerable time. So let's go easy on ourselves. Put a glass of water beside you. This is blessed and we drink it at the end of the world to nourish us, mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, which is totally necessary for this divine work, the best sight is insight. We open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is. We are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body, we're much more than we could ever imagine. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. We're not living eternally in these physical bodies. We have an expiration date, we move in and out of physical bodies. And the entities are always with us. And today we go on a voyage of discovery with one of these amazing entities, very little known about her, really. Sister Saint Scholastica. She's not as well known as her twin brother Saint Benedict who works in the first current room of the Casa transmuting denser energy. She too works by his side. But seemingly God listened to her prayer more than her brothers. Scholastica and her brother Benedict lived during the sixth century in Italy of wealthy parents. Both she and her brother dedicated their lives to God. Benedict started a religious order that is still in existence today, the Benedictines. Scholastica founded a convent near her brother's monastery, which she was the abbess of, and it is said that she dedicated herself to God at a very early age. She maintained a childlike innocence throughout her life. The twins visited each other once a year in a farmhouse, a place not far from either of their convents, 
because Scholastica was not permitted inside her brother's monastery. They spent these times discussing spiritual matters, praying together, and forced Scholastica to receive spiritual counsel from Benedict. The last time the two met, it was a beautifully clear day. The brother and sister spent their last day together in prayer and conversation. Scholastica sensed her death was close at hand, and she begged Benedict to stay with her until the next day, so they could spend a little more time together. He refused her request because he did not want to spend a night outside the monastery, thus breaking his own rule. Scholastica then bowed her head and prayed fervently to God. Thunder crackled and the sky lit up with lightning. A fierce storm began to rage outside. The wind and rain made it impossible for Benedict to return to the monastery. May God forgive you, sister, for what you have done, Benedict cried. Scholastica replied, I asked a favour of you and you refused to listen to me. So I asked my God and he, more generous than you, granted my request. Once again, Scholastica's pleas won the favour she was seeking. Brother and sister parted the next morning after their long discussion. And three days later, Benedict was praying in his monastery from his cell and he saw his sister's soul leaving the earth and ascending to heaven in the form of a shining white dove pictured here. Benedict then announced the death of his sister to the monks and later buried her in the tomb he had prepared for himself. And eventually they were buried together. Saint Scholastica is the patron saint of Benedictine nuns, education, convulsive children, and she is invoked against storms and rain. So she is very much on our team. Her holiness and simple truth in God is related when her prayers succeeded in delaying the travel plans of her brother. So this wonderful entity of the Casa, Saint Scholistica, reminds us of the power of prayer. And as our brother Jesus said, when a few are called in my name, two or more, I will be present. As we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness, may Christ return to earth and be reborn in every heart and soul. And when we try to see with the eyes of Christ, as we navigate these challenging times now on earth, remembering the teachings of the Christ consciousness, love thy neighbour as thyself, and forgive yourself and everyone, everything, always. So we ask our brother Jesus in this sacred moment to really help us now on our journeys. Things are alleviating a little bit, so we are relaxing a little bit more now and having more faith. And God hears every single so let us pray the Lord's Prayer given to us by Jesus. In translated from his original language and the language of the time and his mother Mary, Aramaic. O breathing life, your name shines everywhere. Release a space to plant your presence here. Envisage your I can now. Embody your desire in every light and form. Grow through us this moment's bread and wisdom. Untie the knots of errors binding us as we release the strands we hold of others' faults. Help us to not forget our source. Liberate us from not living in this present moment. From you arises every vision, power and song. 
from gathering to gathering. May our future actions grow from here. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace, always with us. We ask our Divine Mother in this sacred moment to intercede for us, her children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these challenging times now on Earth as we go within on the journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the love, the forgiveness, the patience, the faith, the hope, the joy, the abundance, the gratitude deep, deep within us and it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all carry and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Our mother, who is the void that creates all matter, let we be one. Let we be one. Let we be one. Nourish us every moment through the power of now. Help us elevate our often wounded and fearful hearts to the purity of love and compassion. Shield us always, enfolding us in your starry night sky. And deliver us from judgment and separation. Amen.
Many entities of the Casa Saint Scholastica was outstanding for her simplicity and her faith. She spoke to God directly in reverent familiarity without complex or elaborate rituals. And as an abbess, in the 6th century, quite an achievement. Saint Scholistica instilled in her sisters the necessity of living in accordance with the great Benedictine aim, that in all things God may be glorified. Just like our beautiful Dom Ignacio and Saint Francis Xavier, the motto of the Jesuits is to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. And to this very day, the Benedictine values of prayer, work, study, community, service, reverence and respect are hallmarks of the life of Saint Scholistica. She is indeed a role model to each and every one of us, particularly in these challenging times on earth where there seems to be no rules or discipline and a lot of chaos. Scholistica and her twin brother, Saint Benedict, gave themselves totally to God and gave top priority to deepening their friendship with him through prayer. And as Benedict saw the white dove rise after his sister's spirit left her body, this beautiful symbol of Saint Scholistica reminds us of her purity and in this day and age white doves are a sign of peace. And many of these great entities lived monastic lives. Back in the day they travelled long distances and they spent a lot of time in silence. And we are reminded that silent and listen have the same letters. There's no coincidences at all. And God answers all of our prayers, usually silently. And we in this day and age, with our busyness, and with so much going on and the internet 24 seven, we need to take time out and be in silence every day, just for a little bit to connect with the God of our lives. Silence is not empty. It is full of answers. And you may remember in the Casa on the walls, there was a sign that said, silence is a prayer. We can pray in silence. And sometimes the best form of prayer is when we have run out of things to say and we are simply silent in front of our Creator. The fruit of silence is prayer. 
the fruits of prayer is faith. The fruit of faith is love. The fruit of love is service. And the fruit of service is peace. Amen.
the Lord. God is with you. Fear is not an option. Pray without ceasing. Don't lose hope, guys. I trust in you. Be not afraid. And I will give you I sought my soul, and the soul I could not see. I sought my God, and God eluded me. I sought my brother, and I found all three. The entities of the Casa help us to find God and we hold the key in our own hands to unlock our own healing and many people ask where is God in all of this chaos on earth right now? God has never been more active. God is always with us, within us, around us. We need to talk more to God in familiar terms, like a friend, a brother, a sister, someone very, very, very close to us. God is working in our lives 24-7 teaching us, leading us, guiding us, protecting us, loving us, forgiving us, showing us God is everywhere and in everything. And especially now on earth, God is working over time. We have not been abandoned in any way. Every prayer is heard and answered. So let us talk to God right now. Dear God, I spent so much time looking for you and I didn't know where you were. I gazed at the infinite and I couldn't see you. And I thought to myself, do you really exist? 
I wasn't pleased with the search. And I went on. I tried to find you in religions and temples. But you weren't there. I searched for you through priests, pastors, and healers. And I couldn't find you. I felt lonely, empty, and desperate. I disbelieved. And in my disbelief, I offended you. In offending, I stumbled. In stumbling, I fell. In falling, I felt weak. Weak. I looked for help. In help, I looked for friends. With my friends, I found affection. And in affection, I witnessed love being born. With love, I saw a new world. And in this new world, I decided to live. What I got, I decided to give. Giving something, I received a lot. And in receiving, I felt happy. Being happy, I found peace. And being in peace, I saw that you were inside of me. Without looking for you, I found you at last.
relax into our physical bodies now. Our hard work is over for now. As this beautiful white dove of purity, cleansing, healing and peace beyond human understanding descends upon us from our dear sister, Saint Scholistica, wonderful entity of the chasm, working very closely with Saint Benedict, transmuting all denser energy into divine light as we receive a deep, deep, deep cleansing now from on high into our open hearts. All we need is our intention to be open to receive. As you give, so it will be given you. Keeping our eyes closed now to the end of the work. In our mind's eye, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. We are ascending. The shift is well and truly on. We are moving into a whole new earth paradigm, multiplying our very essence, which is love light. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. You may be able to hear them outside the window right now. Birds don't sing for applause. We've a lot to learn from mother nature. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back here on earth, right here, right now, in this moment in time. And we have come through lifetimes to this very moment to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing that we were the prisoner all along. So let's dedicate ourselves 100% to this work of liberation. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling, and there's so many of our brothers and sisters who are not aware or awake, and it's not our job to sh shake them out of their slumber. We can pray for them, support them, ask God to go there and make his presence felt, to shine love light on their path. To make us feel protected, loved, forgiven, at peace. Not alone, because we certainly are not. There's a lot going on that we cannot see. Oh, beautiful work, supportive. We're being held in the highest of vibrations. As Jesus reminds us, if we knew how much we were loved, we wouldn't be sleeping. And let's bring medium to hour into this high vibration and anyone who has struggled or is struggling on account of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light. Extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this miraculous Cleansing healing energy pouring from the heavens into our open hearts. Let's share our bounty with all of humanity. And our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies. Growing, expanding, multiplying, pouring forth. Cleansing, healing, receiving. Let us pray for the children of the world. They are the future. They don't need to suffer. 
the life of a single human being is worth a million times more than all the property of the richest man on earth. All life is so sacred. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps, they need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather. Those in slavery. Let us dedicate our lives to the liberation of all beings, carnage and disincarnate, as we ascend together into the very essence of our being which is love light. Now is the time. There's never been a better time. We were born for this work. Allow the crystal clear rainbow water of this sacred waterfall to penetrate deep, deep into our souls, taking away all miasmas, anything, everything that no longer serves us as we emerge cleansed, healed, renewed, refreshed, reborn into the light, the core of our being, standing, smiling, sparkling, happy in the beautiful sunshine with our family and friends and new friends, all together, one family, rejoicing in the abundance that is available to each and every one of us as we awaken together, rising, growing, multiplying the Christ consciousness on earth, which is all about love, forgiveness, peace, joy, gratitude, harmony, humility, patience, abundance. We are already there. Hallelujah. Praise God forever.
as we rejoice and bask on this highest of cleansing healing energies that we are receiving now pouring from the heavens into our open hearts strengthening us fortifying us blessing us protecting us loving us for the journey we are in total gratitude to god almighty for another opportunity for us to come together this wonderful collective consciousness one family under the banner of the casa de tom ignacio the house of love where the medicine is love where we learn to live by faith and not by sight and embrace our mission on earth which is to open our hearts and never see a need without doing something about it and thank you god almighty for sending all of your messengers of love so many angels archangels guardian angels ascended masters unseen beings elevated spirits and these phenomenal entities of light and love so many our beautiful saint scholastica and her twin brother saint benedict who tirelessly work through the centuries to transmute all denser energy into divine light helping us with the work of ascension working with the christ consciousness which is all about love and forgiveness and thank you god for sending our brother jesus prince of peace and our divine mother mary queen of peace their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears helping us to wake up to our divine essence to remember that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around and that life is so short the blink of an eye and we've been here so many times before and there's lessons to be learned down here and they're not easy right now and a lesson will be repeated until it is learned and we are equipped with everything we need and more for the journey we are much more than we could ever imagine and we are greatly loved And thank you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the paths, for time and time again coming together, doing the work necessary on the planet to raise the vibration. As we raise our own vibration, we naturally in turn raise the vibration of the entire planet so everyone wins. Working always from the heart center, moving from our heads, our egos, into our hearts. This is our mission on earth. We're well and truly on the way. Thank you for your dedication, your commitment, your courage. And it takes guts to walk the path of the light. Your faith. Your compassion your hope, your patience, your humility, your light and your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God written on the walls of the entities room in English and in Portuguese to remind us love and service. Faith moves mountains. And your faith is healing you, your family, friends, all of those around you and Mother Earth. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. Have no doubt about this. It's happening right in plain sight. We are the change we need to see in the world. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Now is the time. We rise by lifting others. We are just walking each other home. We are the warriors of the light. And we have everything we need and more for this battle raging.
and we're on the winning team. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing. Joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and in always as we surrender to the will of God in the spirit of the white dove of peace beyond all understanding and purity of Saint Scholastic, twin of our beautiful brother, Saint Benedict. May the peace of God be with all beings carnish and disincarnate. May the love of God be in your hearts. May the light of God be in your souls. May the wisdom of God be in your minds. May the virtue and purity of God be in your feelings. May the strength and vitality of God be among the members of your household. May the health and well-being of God be manifest to the bodies, the garments which you wear. May the grace of God be in your actions. May the talents and genius of God be manifest to your senses. May the fullness of the victory of your own God plan be manifest to your souls at the close of your earthly lives. Call unto me and I will answer thee. Amen. Love, loving, love.